Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So we're going to play to continue playing with our Batman character. Uh, again, basically this is the third video, if I'm not mistaken, about the uh, the tutorial. I, I made a playlist for the, the whole thing, so I'm going to put the whole thing on a playlist if you ever need uh, to look for it. Uh, and uh, if you didn't, I would suggest you watch the first two parts of this video. And if you're interested in knowing how I recreated this, the, uh, recreated this Batman look, look at my character creation Batman video. Uh, also, basically, we've reached uh, level 9. Our character is, uh, is a hero. He's mentored by Batman. His powers are gadget, weapon martial arts, movement acrobatic. And let's get started. So basically, last time we fought uh, the forces of the evil uh, Scarecrow. Uh, today, we could continue. Uh, basically, there's two things in this universe online. There's the main quest that your character is going to play. Which is basically, in this case, uh, the quest for the Batman mentor, the character. But there's also a side quest uh, that you can play with your character. Uh, today, we'll, we will try some side quests. We'll try this little thing here, which will give us a Booster Gold mission. So the reason why you may decide to play these missions is so that you can uh, you can get a little extra XP. As you can see, we can get the Wayne family souvenir, which is a, a ring to have early on in the game. Uh, at this point, we don't have a ring, so it could be a good idea to, to play this mission. So we're going to start with this side quest, but there's another one uh, where we're, you can see here our friend uh, Officer Gallant. But for a starter, let's, uh, let's play the Booster Gold mission. I'm not going to play all the Booster Gold mission, at least I don't think I will. Uh, we'll see. In the past, I did not uh, play them all. Also, I would strongly suggest before you start playing the Booster Gold mission, wait until you can unlock your super speed movement mode. In this case, it's a uh, rocket assisted glide. Come on, we can do it. So, in this case, it's rocket assisted glide. The reason for that is uh, basically your character can move around uh, a bit faster. And the, the whole point of the Booster Gold mission is to fly pretty much from one end to Gotham to the other. From And you go to various uh, kiosks. Oh, I wrong uh, one mission. So here you can see our main mission is the, uh, the the Bane mission. But we're going to play the Booster Gold mission first. Just to show you uh, what the, the Booster Gold missions are. It's fairly simple to do. <clears throat> the, the big part, the big thing is uh, going from uh, one place to the other. But it's a nice, um, it's a nice boost in uh, experience points. So you can see down there the, the booster gold kiosk. Basically, it's pretty simple. If you look on the minimap, once you've selected the mission, once you've selected the mission, if you look on the minimap, you can see like uh, little arrows, little uh, yellow arrows that show you where the objectives are. And in this case, you can see the little uh, red, egg, uh, red arrows, yellow arrows, and the yellow, yellow X that shows you where the kiosk is. This is the original Wayne Enterprises building. The company was founded. I won't skip this time. Uh, basically, you can see a little uh, cinematic of the area where you are. Mark the beginning of the um, beginning for the world's largest multinational conglomerates. Many people in the East End have Wayne Enterprises to thank for improving their lives. If this is your first character, it's a nice bit uh, of info that uh, basically allows you to get familiar with, uh, in this case, uh, Gotham City. But uh, there's a whole bunch of kiosks in Gotham City, there's some in uh, Metropolis, and there's even some in some uh, other maps, like I think there's some in the Gotham Wasteland map. So if you've never played those missions, uh, and especially if this is your first character, I would strongly suggest uh, don't don't hesitate to play the Booster Gold uh, mission, kiosk missions. So you can see the second one is over here, right next to Crime Alley. So let's uh, collect it. Gotham's East End, where even Booster Gold fears to tread because they're creepy and dangerous. Worst is Crime Alley. Once an upper class area known as Park Row, Crime Alley got its name for the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, two of Gotham's most prominent philanthropists. Their deaths marked Gotham's slide into tragedy and despair. And I will show you a little bonus thingy. Uh, there's a various uh, feat for exploring uh, Gotham or Metropolis or other maps. 
And there's one very easy one that you can get right here. This is Crime Alley. This is where the Waynes uh, were murdered by the evil Joe Chill. Uh, although, if you guys saw the Batman 1989 movie, and maybe if you're less familiar with the comics, uh, then in the Batman 1989 movie, it's the evil Joker who actually kills uh, Bruce's his parents. No, let's collect. Uh I'm not sure if I explained it already. Basically, there are exhibits uh, spread all around the Gotham and Metropolis. So when you see an exhibit, uh, just pick it up. And I think we got a time capsule with that. So basically, uh, exo materials. These are something that will be useful to to do some crafting. I will make a crafting video at some point. I'm, I'm probably a little overdue for that. And the last the kiosk that we need, as you can see, is right here. Again, if you look at the minimap, you'll see the yellow X showing uh, the objective. Founded by Dr. Leslie Tompkins, the East End Free Clinic offers health care to anyone who So again, if at some point you want to skip it, as you can see, if you play a square, if you press the square, it should skip the, the movie. So once you visited all the Booster Gold uh, kiosks, then you go back to collect your reward. And also it should give us a whole bunch of experience points. And also we'll show you another thingy in just a minute. So before we collect our reward, we're going to do a little something. And often people will ask me how to gain uh, experience uh, faster. I do have a video speci uh, specifically for that. So if you if you ever needed more information, look at my video, how to gain a uh, level faster or something like that. But there's this little item that you get that we got uh, last time when we played. It was the XP plus booster box. Basically, we got it uh, towards the end of the, uh, the Scarecrow mission, if I recall correctly. So basically, we're going to gain more experiences for one hour, and uh, it's not you don't have to to uh, to log in for one hour. Like if let's say you log in for 15 minutes, you'll get extra XP for 15 minutes, and then the next time if you log in for 15 minutes, again you'll get extra XP. So you don't have to stay logged in for one hour. Basically, for for the next uh, for the next few times when you're you're gonna log in, for roughly the equivalent of one hour of gameplay, you will get extra XP. So let's let's start this uh, little XP booster. So as you see, we have to equip it, and then we have to consume it. Oh, there's a little uh, Batman friend here. Ah, he's almost my twin. That's so sweet. Ah, let's give him a little bow. All right, and even a thumbs up. Why not? So as you saw, we activated all the XP thing. So let's re-equip our cola before we forget. So let's collect our reward from the Booster Gold uh, vendor. Let's go to our journal. So we can complete the mission here. So as you can see, it gave us some XP. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how, it was, how much XP we were supposed to get. But we should have had 50% uh, more. So as you can see, once you collect uh, your mission, uh, you should be able to get another one. Uh, basically, at various le levels, uh, as your character level up, there's various booster gold mission that will appear that you can uh, collect uh, in the future. Uh, let's collect it. So it should give us another uh, another set of rewards. I'm not going to do specifically that mission. As I play other missions, I'll probably uh, collect. Uh, the kiosk at the same time and also let's play a few side quests so basically again we have our main mission which is the out in the streets where we will go fight the evil forces of the the evil bane but here let's talk to our friend official galleon first and let's do a little uh, side quest that little side quest and the, the bane mission should give us should give us uh, some extra xp Although I may wait uh, next time for the main mission, come to think of it. Uh, I think if we're lucky, uh, doing this mission should unlock uh, the Watchtower missions. You know, we'll see. Uh, and uh, also, the that, that side mission is pretty much right next to the uh, the police station. So you can see here. 
So let's start off from the, the SCU sergeant. So we have to defeat the 20, uh, 20 Brainiac robots here. This should go fairly quickly. Also, we'll probably take a look at my loadout again. Uh, if you remember last time, uh, I purchased a few uh, movement abilities. So as you can see, it gave me a forward flip attack. I may have others that I forget, so I will try to rearrange my loadout uh, just after this fight. Just two more, one more. Sometimes here, as you can see, the, the biggest challenge is to be able to get the NPCs uh, before the other players. If there's uh, many players who are playing uh, the same mission at the same time as you are. Oh yeah, there's another easy feat uh, that I could show you. Let's go over there. So I showed you the the Wayne Manor, f the, the the Crime Alley feat where the Wayne were, were, were sadly slain. Here there's a feat if you go on the on the the bat signal. It's a fairly easy feat to get. And I could have sworn I heard there's something here. Oh there it is. So again, whenever you see uh, collections like this with uh, question marks, you just pick it up. So it should give you a collection. And at this point in time, we pretty much don't have any collections, so all the collections we get, or most of the collections we, collections we get, should be new collections, so we just consume it. So we did the first part of the Brainiac mission, so we'll continue uh, that mission in just a second. But let's take a look at our loadout. So here we got a new, uh, a new gadget ability, which is a Vortex Cannon, and we got, where is it? And also last time when we purchased some of our movement modes, uh, we got the forward flip attack. Uh, sometimes I will purchase a bunch of uh, of those. Uh, oh, let's let's purchase maybe one more. So I purchased a forward flip attack. There's a devastating flip, which is a supercharge. I never really use that one. It's a little bit pricey maybe to use. Uh, there's a back flip attack that I could get, or there's launching roll. Um, I'd be tempted to purchase both, but as you can see, I only have one skill point left. Well, right, let's go for launching roll. Uh, I'll probably try to take the backflip backflip attack at some other point. Why did I want to pay to take a launching roll? I'll show you in just a second. So let's go back to our loadout. So as you can see, I have too many abilities, so I'm gonna have to remove uh, some of them. So let's move this one over here. Uh, let's remove. Let's move this one over here. Let's move this one over here. And what I will do is that I will uh, I will use launching roll instead of uh, vortex cannon. Uh, launching roll does uh, this here. It's an ability that's useful also to be able to break out from uh, a certain uh, when when you're held or when you're uh, you're stunned or something like that. You can use it. Um, I'm not sure if it's when you're stunned. When you're held, I think you can use it to break out. Well, let's look at the descriptions just to be sure. Well, it doesn't specify, but I'll show it to you at some point. Uh, so basically when your character gets uh, knocked down or, or something like that when you get hold, if you use it, the launching roll attack, it will allow you to break out, but also it will allow you to... Um, it will allow you to, uh, to also attack uh, the enemies. I'm not sure why we don't have... Okay, there we go. So basically I had to complete uh, the mission first. So let's continue. I don't think we got a reward. Let's just check to be sure. Nope. So here you can see we have a briefing. I will explain to you what, Brain, uh, what the Oracle said uh, in just a minute. And we've got a collection here. So let's consume the... Oh, we can't... See, we already got this one. I guess we're not very lucky, since we don't have that many. And we have the best collection ever, so let's consume that. 
one out of ten. Uh, the best collection ever, I made uh, at least a video or two about it, if you ever need to know what it actually does. So here we have, uh, we can see a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, NPCs, oh, let's go like that first. We see a whole bunch of NPCs that are trapped, so we have to save uh, some of them, but before that let's go like this. And you see there's a little timer on those uh, little ball thing, so let's grab this. And we have to bring them over here. So let's uh, take down all uh, evil Brainiac robot, and we also have to take down, uh, as you can see, the Brainiac accumulators. If you look at the at the uh, at the bottom right of the screen, so again, all the citizens are trapped. We have to grab them here, and when you do, you should you see that little arrow. It tells you where to go if you're not sure. But also, you can see the objective uh, that's uh, lighting uh, that's uh, flashing uh, once you grab uh, the civilian. So you can't really go wrong. And for the Brainiac Accumulators, it's these big, uh, I'm always going to say spider-like, don't, they don't really look like the spiders. And as you saw on the screen, usually you have uh, hints that will appear, it will help you uh, to know what to do. Now let's get there. there we go. Let's show you the launching roll. Aww. Also, it sometimes shoots the enemies uh, in the air. I'll try to show it to you. I'm not sure if it's going to do it with the accumulator. Maybe we need a humanoid uh, type uh, enemy. So this should be the last one we need. So let's go complete our mission here. So again, if you look on the minimap, the, the yellow arrow tells you where to go. But that doesn't mean you cannot uh, do a little pit stop elsewhere, like here, to grab this uh, little collection. So here we got the Brainiac System uh, Breaker Data Matrix. Let's consume that. One out of ten. So again, there's a whole bunch of collections that you can uh, gather. Oh, a little exhibit. I never pass up a free exhibit, is what I always say. Uh, here there's uh, some uh, some of those NPCs, the, uh, some cultists uh, spread around the Gotham. Uh, those guys are pretty tough. Uh, you have to pretty much be level 70, I think, before you can tackle them. I could tr probably try before that, but uh, first you, you don't really have the mission, so it won't really give you anything. And uh, they're pretty tough. Uh, they're tier 4 enemies, if I recall correctly. So here we have a whole bunch of uh, evil Brainiac robots. I guess they were out of range a bit. So as I mentioned early on, uh, the missions are pretty much to, to get you used to not just uh, the weapon of your characters, but also the powers of your characters. So you can pretty much test out your powers, get used to them, uh, figure out what they do, figure out which one which one you kind of like using most, and which, which one you don't really don't like using, which one you find more useful. Like, like here in this case, you have to click on that little thingy. Uh, oh, next round. Let's see if I can get it. Let's pull those little guys here. Like if you try to click on uh, an objective and enemies are attacking you, as you can see, they're stopping you. Normally your shield should allow you to be able to bypass that. So depending on your gameplay, uh, especially if you're playing uh, DPS, if you're playing damage, uh, I see a lot of players who go for uh, powers or abilities that uh, do uh, the most damage only, but they forget about the survivability. Uh, basically, if, you're, if your character gets defeated, doesn't matter how much damage uh, your abilities can make, you won't, you won't do anything. 
So I like to have, uh, personally I like to have a bit of a survivability, so I like to have like a shield abilities that protect your character in certain situations. So sometimes in my loadout, I won't necessarily, or sometimes abilities that uh, stun enemies. Like when the enemies are stunned, they're not attacking you. So sometimes the, the second or two that they are stunned uh, will buy you some time uh, in order to not be defeated. So sometimes in my loadouts, I'll go for abilities, uh, sometimes that do more than just damage. But there's people who don't really like that. Also, uh, now that we have armories, you could decide to have uh, multiple armories. You could have an armory with a bunch of powers for when you're playing solo and have a whole bunch of uh, defensive abilities. And you could decide to have uh, an armory for one where you're, you're playing with other players, uh, where you might decide that you don't really need uh, def defensive abilities. Like you could decide to only have uh, attack abilities, like the abilities that do a lot of damage, and decide that uh, the healer will keep you alive. But depending on the group you 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 play with, uh, sometimes the depending on the healer may not be a good idea. Some healers do a better, got, uh, better job than others, I guess. So if this should complete the mission. Those were the comma rays messing with my signal. All systems go, and Brainiac doesn't even know what hit him. Head back to the safe house for a hero's welcome. So let's get, uh, go back to the safe house and collect our reward. So let's talk to Officer Galliant. That should buy us some time to form a counterattack against Green. And uh, we got a little uh, neck piece, so let's equip it. I thought we could go to the Watchtower already. I guess not. So I guess we really have to play the, the main mission before we go to the Watchtower. And that's okay. So we're going to go play uh, the main mission. Basically, we're going to co go continue our main uh, mission. We might uh, go to some uh, Booster Gold kiosk uh, in that area too. Uh, we'll see. So if we look in our journal again, so we can see out in the streets, that's our main mission. So as you see, we have to go basically towards uh, the dock area. But I'm going to select uh, the Booster Gold mission so that I know where the, the kiosks are. And we're going to be able to play technically both missions at once. So while I play the... Uh, while I fight the evil henchmen of our friend Bane, uh, I'll probably click on uh, some kiosks as well. And you can see also, you can see that little uh, exclamation point. That's a side quest uh, that we could do. We will do it, but in just, uh, just a few minutes. So here we have uh, the docks. There's a whole bunch of uh, evil uh, henchmen of Banes that we'll fight. But before we do that, so let's grab the old guy here. So there's a whole bunch of uh, henchmen from Bane that we can what, that we need to defeat, and there's different ones also that we need. So we need some of the strongmen. Like we can see, we need to take out a two out of five uh, strongmen. So you see those little guys uh, carrying the crates. Sometimes if you're looking for a very specific kind of type of NPC, uh, you may have to look around a bit. It could happen that at some point uh, the game keeps on giving you uh, razors and that you may have to wait a while for the, the strongman. 
Or you saw, we saw some, uh, some henchmen uh, spawn with some crates. Oh, went up in level. So that is something that we didn't have in my days, uh, the Superman mission, we didn't have that way back when. So right now all we really need is our uh, Venom samples. That should do it. Someone accessed the fortress via the Phantom Zone projector and took him. Even departed, Superman's body could be weaponized, so I must recover it. I'll meet you in the Phantom Zone. So out in the street, let's move on to the next part of the mission. Samples are a weaker version of Bane's usual Venom. A mega steroid like Venom doesn't just build muscles. It can destroy your body. And it smells terrible, I might add. <coughs> So we got a nice uh, shoulder, we're only missing uh, one ring. Obviously we're missing also the utility belt, we'll get that later. And the same with artifacts. Good, yeah? Gotham's got itself right bollocks, and the rest of the world's not far behind. Meet me and Gotham under that rift in the sky, and I'll tell you how you can be a big damned hero. So as you see, we got a whole bunch of new missions because we reached uh, level 10. So there's a few, quite a few things that happen when you reach level 10. One of the things that happened at level 10 also is that you can uh, you can switch to the controller role. So pretty much everyone starts as uh, DPS, as damage until level 10. Once you reach level 10, then you can uh, you can open the action tab and then you can switch role if you need to. So you could decide to switch to uh, controller, and as a controller, you can give out power to the rest of your of your, of your group. Every time you cast a, a, a power, if you look to the top left of the screen underneath uh, my name, there's like a, my power bar, my health bar, my supercharge bar, and that there's that little uh, green lightning bolt. The little green lightning bolt means that uh, I'm giving out power to everyone in the group. So every five seconds, there should be a tick of power. Uh, here we don't see it because I would need to burn power first. But basically, once you reach level 10, uh, you can switch role from, in this case, from DPS to controller. But if your role is healer, then you're, go you're going to be able to switch to a healer. If your role is tank, you're going to be able to switch to, that, to tank. Oh, I saw a little something here. Oh, yeah. So let's. So as you can see, we're starting to have a whole bunch of missions. Uh, we have uh, the Justice League Dark missions, which is the brand new DLC. Uh, we have our main mission. We have the Booster Gold mission we took earlier, and we have some uh, some missions from the 80th anniversary of Superman, uh, Doom, Doom the Metropolis, confronting Doomsday, Last Son of Krypton. So we'll play some of some of those missions uh, in a bit. Actually. Yeah, we'll play some of those missions in a bit. So let's click on this one so that I can know where the kiosks are. I kind of know it, but just for so that you guys can know as well. I just should we, it'll, okay, we'll go there in just a bit. So over here, there's a whole bunch of uh, of pain uh, henchmen that we we need uh, to fight. So let's click back on the House of Venom. So you can see there's some uh, some main soldiers that we need to question to interrogate. Well, there's also a side mission I should go uh, pick up right now before I continue. Well, let's go do that. So you see that little guy over there that has a, sort of a spotlight on him. That's a side mission that we can take. And it's going to be to be a side mission that has to do with the same NPC we're fighting. So there's no reason not to take it right now. 
So that way you can play multiple missions at the same time. Early on, if it's too uh, too L too much, don't worry too much about it. Just uh, just focus on one mission at a time. But after a while, once you get used to it, you're going to be able to to play multiple objectives at the same time. It almost becomes a second nature at some point. So we don't need the soldiers anymore, but we'll still need a few hoppers and a few razors. We probably could get some in the next part of the mission, but... Uh, I prefer not to take any chances. Oh yeah, level 11. Okay, so we can go to the distribution center. Uh, also another thing I didn't show you. So basically right now we can, you can see we've unlocked uh, we've unlocked uh, all the weapons. So if we decided to, to start using a second weapon or if we wanted to use a uh, weapon masteries, then we could start purchasing uh, the, the weapon abilities we need in order to get the weapon mastery. So again, for Acrobatic, we could purchase more abilities, and there's the Iconic Powers. So there's a whole bunch of Iconic Powers we can purchase, depending on, on what you prefer. Uh, depending on the power you use, like uh, for example, uh, here we have the Hard Light Shield. So if for some reason you're, you're, the power you're using doesn't have a shield, uh, this is a shield that you could use. But there's, uh, there's powers that have a whole bunch of shield. For example, Mental is a whole bunch of shield for your character. So if you're a mental player, unless you really want a lot of shield, you don't really need the hard, hard light shield. Uh, there's powers like heat visions if you want to recreate Superman, the same with uh, freezing breath. Uh, there's a super strength if you want to be able to pick up uh, heavy objects. Here in this case, we're going to pick up the Batarang multi-shot. I hate when it does that. Let's try again. Iconic powers. There we go. And uh, what else could I show you here? Oh yeah, the loadout. So I just purchased the Batarang multi-shot, so I will rearrange my loadout just a little bit. So I will replace a Sticky Bomb with uh, the Batarang. I did not really need to purchase the Batarang, uh, it's just a, a, a theme thing, you could say. Uh, the Batarang will do, oh, it would do this. It basically will uh, do damage and will stun a whole bunch of enemies. And you can see next to the distribution this distribution center, there is also another side quest. So We've let's talk to all our friend here. Distribution system through Gotham. They've made me as a cop, but you could get through and check out those terminals for me. What do you say? So let's go inside. So the fun bit about the Batarang, first it's th it's themed for our friend Batman, but also it stuns uh, it stuns a whole, a whole bunch of enemies. So while they're they're trying to uh, remove the Batarangs from themselves, uh, then you can beat the snot out of them, or they're not attacking you in the meantime. And also there's a bunch of uh, console that you can uh, click on here. And there's also a bunch of uh, canisters. Oh, there they are. There's a bunch of canisters like this. Uh, when, you, when you destroy them, nothing really happens, but it's only towards the end of the mission. If you destroy every single canister in the, in the place, and if you click on, an all, on all the console, you are going to get a, an extra feat. So it's fairly easy to do, but uh, sometimes some of those uh, canisters uh, will be hidden behind uh, behind co uh, behind console or behind uh, uh, other items in the base. So if you if you want to make sure you don't forget any canisters, uh, you can destroy uh, any base items. Uh. 
It's a bit easier with uh, with weapons like, uh, for example, dual pistols. With a dual pistol, you can decide to just go full auto, and you're pretty guaranteed to destroy uh, not just the, the canisters, but pretty much everything. But if you forget some, it's not a big deal. You can uh, you can always come back. Uh, during the mission you can come back like once once i finish the mission i could and if i see that i didn't get all the canisters i could decide to come back to try to get the canister i, I missed or if for some reason I, I complete the mission i leave and i forgot some canisters i can always come back you can come back and repeat the mission once you unlock the mission you can come back and repeat it as many times as you like so again if you forgot some canisters uh, you can come back uh, and try and get them Uh, there's people who worry a lot about feats, uh, there, there's people who, uh, who swear that you need every single skill points ever. Uh, personally, as you play the game, you will gain skill points. So you don't really have to farm for skill points. If you want to, you can, but you don't really have to. As you play the game, you will get skill points, uh, whether you want to or not. Again, if you're not sure, you could destroy consoles. See, okay, there's no canisters behind. Oh, I was a little out of range. And that's probably the one drawback from the Batarang. Yeah, the range is it is it isn't uh, that that far. I hear something. Mm, probably behind the wall. I'm pretty sure I explained the little chests in the previous video, but just in case you this is your first video. Uh, basically in this universe online there's this little chest that you can have. Uh, basically you get a little rewards from those chests. As you can see we got a pair of gloves and some junk that we can sell uh, on the vendors. And there's also a feat to destroy those chests. Uh, the, 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 the highest feat is to destroy a thousand chests. So you can see we have a 3 out of 5 uh, for the, the download distribution list. So we seem to have all the canisters here. So let's continue. So the, for the old chests, uh, you need, you need uh, a thousand for the, 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 the last feat. Not every mission has a chest. And sometimes even mission, missions that have chest, once in a while they won't, the, the chest will not be there. This is how we have to grab the little thingy, bring it here, and then we have to activate the console here. So we're reaching pretty much the end boss, our friend Nightwing will give us a hand. And we have to fight the evil Diego. Well, let's try our uh, launching roll attack. Ah, uh, he blocked just to be a big meanie. So you can see the launching roll attack projected uh, Diego in the air. So once we defeat the evil Diego, uh, we have to click on him to arrest him. You got lucky, punk. And then we have to talk to our friend uh, Nightwing. Ah, uh, Batman and Nightwing together. That's so sweet. I thought one Bane was bad, but with Venom on the street, everyone thinks they're a backbreaker. Good to know you're out there taking care of it. So let's activate the console here. Canister is here. Uh, let's pull back a bit. Another console here. Mm. 
So getting <clears throat> again in some map, if you're looking for certain objectives, don't hesitate to destroy uh, base items. So that's what I was hearing, I think, uh, a bit earlier. Hmm, I obviously I forgot one somewhere. So again, if you ever forget one, no big deal, you just uh, backtrack. Mm, pretty sure it's not here. There's not many missions in this universe online that are timed, uh, so it doesn't really matter if you take 5 minutes or 25 minutes. You stay as long as you need to be able to do, uh, to do what you need to do. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, and it gave us... Uh, a little feet and a little skill point. So earlier I was looking for one more skill point, so let's do that. And let's purchase backflip attack. And I'm going to replace the fear gas with a backflip back backflip attack. No real strategy there, just uh, basically this is the Batman. So we have a forward flip attack. This is our shield that will help us in a few situations. We have our batarangs. We have the launching roll. We have our taser line. Basically our bad grappling. And we have our backflip back, back flip attack. I remember when I started using that eons ago, I would go forward flip attack, back flip attack uh, like crazy. Especially when, uh, when we started playing uh, the legend hunter's character. If I had a quarter every time I did that, I'd be rich by now. So we can now leave uh, the distribution center. Again, if you're not sure, uh, basically it tells you in the bottom right of the, of the screen what you need to do. But in this case, uh, we, it didn't tell you that you still needed some canisters. It's, it's just if you know that you need the feet and you didn't get the feet yet, then you know that, okay, I have to stick around a bit more. So let's leave. So let's go back to our journal to be able to complete our mission. So next we have to go to Cape Carmine. So I will probably complete the Booster Gold mission first. And you can see there's a side mission right here uh, on there. I forget where the console is. But I thought I heard something. Oh, I hear something else. Oh, we'll come back. So let's keep you skip. Let's go back up for what we heard. Shouldn't be too far. Oh, there it is. Never pass up a freaks a bit. I always say that. And let's go to the last uh, kiosk, which, which is j just uh, just over here. I'm 
not sure why I can't. There we go. So let's keep escape. But it is now a sad monument to that distant past. The buildings are the same, but are now in a state of ruin and filled with a hopeless poor. Only those with little regard for their own life dare to walk these crime-ridden streets. So next time we will talk to our friend uh, Officer O'Brien and we will play the, uh, the Cape Carnage missions and we will fight the evil Bane. And there's probably something else we could talk about. Uh, let's click on the, the Toxic the Avenger. Distribution hub down. Venom is still out on the street. Destroy it. When Bane's hopped up thugs object, take them out and detach their Venom injectors for their own good. So next time we will fight uh, again. We will finish fighting the evil forces of Bane and we will go fight uh, Bane himself. So that is pretty much it for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.